Double M on 105.90X, appearing tonight and tomorrow night at Blush, 9th Street, downtown. She is lovely. She is busty. She looks terrific without makeup, despite her protests. Otherwise, <laughs> we welcome now back to our studio, Triple X superstar, Audrey Batani. Audrey, tell us where the perception you have that you do not look good right now comes from. Uh, because your hair is wet, you don't have makeup on, but you still look absolutely stunning, and yet I can tell we have our dot-com Cameron in here. Uh, you would rather the dot-com camera was not in here, I can tell. <laughs> I'm like, all of a sudden I turn shy. Um, I don't know, I just feel like I should have showed up with one or the other, but I always try to maximize all of my time. So literally he was downstairs and I'm like, in the shower, I'm like, uh, can I have a few minutes? So, that's my fault. Audrey has the best outfit from the waist down <laughs> we've ever had one of the girls wear in here. Very high cut blue jean shorts. So Audrey, thank you so much for that. You're welcome. I told you I did that on purpose. I couldn't show up. I need to uh, divert the attention somewhere else. Get it off the face and the hair. Now, off the air we talked about a erroneous report that you are educated. You have a college degree. You do not, but you are studying, correct? What What are you correct. currently studying? And uh, in online, do you attend classes? What do you do? Um, I'm studying. Um, I'm taking my general and starting over because I took a two-year break, and I didn't want to be placed somewhere where all the subjects would be nebulous it would just you know be to my detriment and so I'm um, taking online courses now what do you study what would you like to do at some point a past this career degree, a business degree for sure I think I could use one well, would you open up a shop uh, a company what, what, what's your aim mm, I don't know me and my probably I don't know me and my girlfriend we've um, entertained the idea of a lingerie company she has a really good eye for that and and you have a really good body for that. There we go. See, it's a it's a match. I was hoping it would be like an adult merchandise mart or something like that. Mm. That would be too cliche, wouldn't it? Yeah. Well, I'm sure laundry is right up there, too. See, Audrey is the only porn girl we've ever had here. Whenever I make a, a vaguely sexually suggestive remark, she kind of like rolls her eyes. Why? Because she's above that. And I respect that. <laughs> but like Cagney Lynn Carter would be, oh, I don't know, an adult merchandise mart. I could be naked in it. <laughs> now, um... Lately, the big thing in porn is parody videos. Like, they parody the Brady Bunch, the Partridge Family, what have you. Have you been in any of that? Yes, I have. Um, I was in... I was Kim Kardashian in Getting It Up with the Kardashians. You parodied the reality show? Yes. So you played Kim Kardashian? Mm-hmm. What was that like? Because I, I do see a resemblance. Do, uh, you know, I get that a lot. Sometimes in the elevator at hotel lobbies, they're like, it's Kim. And I'm like, okay, no, it's not. <laughs> door closed, door closed. Like, don't follow me up here. Um, no, uh, we we reenacted the um, her Playboy shoot, and that was basically it. We were like, okay. So it, w it wasn't tough for you to play her? It wasn't too elaborate. Did you no. study the character very much, or is it just... No. Yeah, no. you just kind of did your thing, right? I you actually have no patience for that show, so I wouldn't even There know you go. Any other porn parodies? Um, any you'd like to do? Any I'd like to do? No. I mean, I'm not opposed to doing any, but there's nothing that I'm like, I would be thrilled to get part. What's the most interesting plot in an adult video you've ever been in? I know, I, I've seen enough of your work. I don't know. You see, I, yeah, you're not much on plot, are you? No. You, the gonzo genre, is that what it's called? Um, Just kind of get right to it? Yeah, but I think that's the way it should be, because even when they do try to uh, have a plot, it's like nothing worthwhile. It's... Yeah, I'm not really Might interested well in the plot then, myself. You know? For example, have you seen the, the big budget ones, the two pirates? Yes. I was like suicidal it was, it's, yeah. by like by like the third dramatic scene. I don't want to see the dramatic scene. And if I do want to see a dramatic scene, God bless her. She's an alum of the show too. I don't want to see Tegan Presley do it. You know what I mean? I want to see uh, Julia Roberts do the dramatic stuff. Right, Tegan Presley right, right. for the sex or Audrey Batani for the sex. So yeah. I, I, think, I think we're both thinking on the same lines there. Now, Let's talk about some of the things you have not done in an adult video. Have you yet done interracial? No. Will you? No. But then I get backlash for saying that. Okay, well, let's, uh, why, why won't you do interracial? Um, to be honest, I, uh, to be honest, my rule is I would only do things on camera that I'm comfortable doing in my personal life, and I'm just not attracted to... Um... To black men. Jeez. <laughs> No, no. My popularity just significantly decreased. No, no. I could feel it. Not among clans, but it didn't. Uh, no, 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 seriously, no. I don't think anybody blamed you for that. It is just unusual. I do, though. I, lately, I've been getting negative. Um, they're like, oh, we heard you use the N-word. And I'm like, 
Yeah, even if I did, I think I'm smart enough to do it, like, you know, not on the radio or where there's a camera. I mean, not that I would use language like that anyway or refer to anybody in that manner, but it's, like, ridiculous. Now, now what kind of bad reaction do you get? I mean, like, emails, calls, people come up to you in person. What exactly is the backlash? Um, It would be through email. And I, yeah. And I don't know. If How do people get your email address? You know, it's just the fan one that's on my website. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. Now, do people want to see you do interracial? Is there a clamor for that? Or is there just a backlash that because they perceive it as racism? Racism, for sure. Um, I think there's just a few, but I would say the majority is for the racism. Now, what other things won't you do? Um, uh, not, now, there's I know, certain... Right, I can't say. Okay. Uh, so, I don't do multiple partners, unless it's, like, girls. Okay, you'll do, like, boy, girl, girl. Yes. Okay. And not boy, boy, girl. Okay. And then, one guy at a time. One guy at a time, definitely. Fair enough, fair enough. And then no... Uh, Alternate... Backdoor. Okay, fair enough. We can say that. Not too often. Uh, is that is that just a, a comfort? Side door. Is that just a comfort <laughs> thing, or is that just... I, I, I'm not... I wouldn't even try that in my personal life. Never done Never. it. Never. Never done it. I have no interest. So I guess a black man doing that would be right out, way that out of the be, question. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I, I'm Maybe that's actually what I need. I'm surprised. To set me straight. I'm surprised you get the backlash though, Audrey, because I wonder if it's a backlash because of perceived racism. Because let's face it, you can go into any adult video store in America and come out with thirty or forty videos that are just downright racist. Mm -hmm. That you know that are so stereotypical and and you know no race goes uninsulted in adult video, but I think it might be because adult video is so based on money that they just expect with any of y'all, as long as they wave the right amount of money, you'll do anything. Out. Right. Yeah. Do you think maybe that's where some of the backlash comes from? Um, No. No, but I haven't been offered. But I have been offered for the other thing, and I'm like, are you... What's the biggest offer you got for something you turned down? Um, For one scene, probably 10000 to do it. Really? Yeah. And no no price? No I mean, price would take it over the top? I mean, we, uh, I can't say no price. Right, if somebody came in and said half a million figures, bucks, you know, right. I'll happily bend over. But, um, <laughs> I mean, nothing like, nothing that people would actually. Now, now, this is a question I ask all the girls, and, and this is not a proposition. Have you ever had sex with a big fat guy? Um, you know, my best friend right now is a little chubby. <laughs> he probably will hate really? me for saying that. Okay, then it is but a proposition. There we go. But, but, but uh, Brie Olsen... Uh, she has all the angles figured out. When I asked her how she had sex with a fat guy, because her one of her ex-boyfriends is heavy, okay. she had like all the logistics laid out. It was like calculus. Mm -hmm. How tough is it for you to have sex with a fat guy? It's got to be tough. I mean, I'm a fat guy. I have a tough time. I I don't know, and I'm not just saying this, but I can find something like attractive about anybody as long as he's not. No, lying. no, I'm talking about the actual the angles, oh, the logistics. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I'd be on him. Okay, you would just you would just do all the work. Definitely. I love you more every second. <laughs> Audrey Batani, she's at Blush tonight and tomorrow night. That's 9th Street downtown doing, what? what's in the act? Have you changed the act at all? No, and I need to. I was telling them last night, I'm like, all right, I'm leaving. I'm going to go home and start practice dancing. No, just recently I did take a pole, um, a pole dancing lessons, but taking them before, and she's like, okay, walk over here, sexy. And I'm like, well, I can't do that. I'm too embarrassed. I'm like, I'm going to pay you, but I'm going to go home now. So, no, I should. And with that stage, I need anything I can get because it's so tiny. Yeah, it is a small stage, oh isn't it? But isn't that good, though? No, and they want you oh, to for see, 20 I disagree. minutes, and I'm like, I'm not a magician. Like, <laughs> I'm not a comedian. Like, telling maybe jokes maybe the customers long. are right on top of you, though, which means the money's right no, on top of you. That's not a bad you thing. List, and they're like, okay, you can't, you can't do this, you can't do that. So it's like, yeah, the customer's right there, but you can't go near them. You so need to get, like, zapped if You I need to do what Brie Olsen does and right. ignore everything they tell you and do it anyway. But that's why I think I've had three, uh, my third visit, because I do follow the rules. Okay, fair so. enough, fair enough. They keep bringing Brie back, too, though. Do that's they? Like, oh, yeah, they do. Uh, now, do you do private dances? I do. You do? Mm -hmm. How much are those? A hundred dollars. A hundred bucks? Yes. Any good? Any good? Uh, I'm better actually with somebody. I'm not I'm not sexy or appealing alone, but as soon as you give me somebody, I can like feed off them, so I would say the lap dances are worth your money. Really? Yeah. I like that. Now, we've had, do we have to take a break here soon? No, we'll just keep going on. Well, we, we're going to have you on for a second segment. Let me ask you this. I don't know if we asked this the last time you were here, but do you escort? No. And you did ask me that the last really? time. Really? Yeah. Now, Cagney Lynn Carter actually admitted to it on the air. Did she? Yes, yeah, she did. And here was her reasoning, and I want you to refute the reasoning if you could. Okay. Her reasoning was, if I'm going to take X amount of money to have sex with a guy I don't know on video, why wouldn't I take more money than that to have sex with a guy I don't know in private where no one else will ever see it? 
I mean, There's some logic there, right? I was going to say, yeah, use that exact word. Um, yeah, I agree to that. But I also think it poses, um, you know, a threat. Like everybody, Health risk. Yeah, well, well, that and, you know, he could be crazy. And he, although an agency would book you, it doesn't mean he can, you know, tie you up and kill you in the closet. Maybe that would be extra. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> She'd be into it, too, I'm sure. Never even considered it. Never even had a guy uh, on no, I've had I've had offers and actually at clubs and stuff and I'm like, I don't know, are you a cop? What's the biggest <laughs> offer for that? Oh my god, the cop thing. That's true too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um what's the biggest offer? Yeah, I don't even let it get to that far where the you know really? negotiating money. Like Brianna Banks charges four K an hour and gets it. She's like cleaning the house after too. I mean I'd make her like cook me dinner. You'd have to and, paint it. Right? I mean wow. I'll do anything you want. Paint my house. I mean the girl's hot, but four thousand an hour, that's like you can get a cheap car. <laughs> well, you're not calling Brianna a cheap car, are you? No, 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 no. And now I have that. I'm racist, and I, and I hate Brianna. That is Audrey Batani. She'll be at Blush tonight. We'll be back with more from her in just a moment here on 105.9.